Hey, we're out trapping rats again today in Minnesota. It's really windy out, so forgive me if the if the audio isn't perfect, but it's really warm out today. It was 40 degrees yesterday. I went and set a bunch of houses for the first time. I think I got about 30 traps out. I got a rat in this one, but it sounds like he's... Uh-huh. Top to start to pump it off. Big rat, too. Oh, there we go. There we go. This, one, this one's alive. Unfortunately, he didn't drown, but... <clears throat> that's a really nice rat. We'll pause the video quick and I'll take care of them and we'll reset the trap. That's a nice rat. It's our first trap of the place. And I actually, I, I set this trap yesterday and it didn't, it's a little feeder hut, but it wasn't as good as the rest of the traps were. my trap right back in there on that pad. Try and get all my wire back in that hole. Get all my all my wet stuff. Fortunately today everything is wet because it's so warm out. Put that hole back up really good. It's gonna be it's gonna get cooler tonight down into down into the 20s. All right, we'll see the next set. All right, so we're out here. You see this little feeder hut I got here? So yesterday when I was out here trapping, I got out here and it was so warm out that this feeder hut collapsed. Okay, and we're in Minnesota, it's mid-December, you gotta remember that. So what I did was, I just set a trap inside the hut, didn't cover nothing up. Just left it out like an open water set. Got here now, and there's a rat in this trap. I'll uh, show it to you here. You want to pause it for a second. Got this, got this rat here. just like that and hopefully tomorrow I, I got about a foot of wire on this thing so hopefully tomorrow he'll jump down the hole and be drowned so, all right Let's see the next set right back here got a big hut here this, this is built back in the canes generally back in the canes like this unless it's a really big hut they'll freeze up but this is a sleeper hut so pull that plug out where I had that trap at and oh, oh. Huh. Gosh, this is a good set too. Oh well. It's alright. You gotta take the good with the bad. Start. Plug this bugger back up. Really good. Oh. Next trap though is a good feeder a good feeder hut. Hopefully we'll connect on that one. Out in the middle of a floating chunk of rushes, that's usually a pretty good area to try to get a rat. Oh, it's not. Like I said, usually, huh? No. Nope. Nothing in this guy either. God, that's kind of disappointing. What? The 
the show will go on. I'll plug this back up. We still got oh 25 traps to check, so we'll get some more fur. Alright, we're at we've got five traps here. We've got two good sized huts here, three behind us. Um it's raining out, it's actually freezing rain. Yeah, all the butt side house is getting just covered nice. That's the fun stuff we get to deal with here. These are good, good huts. I can't believe there's nothing in these traps. It's all right. Yeah, I got another one over here. Kind of funny, the first two traps I was leery about had the rats in them and the ones that I didn't think, or didn't think would have something in them. See, yep, this one's got a tight chain though. Down this hole. There we go. There we go. Look at that. This is that one's right down the drowning hole. That's where you want them at. You want them, you want you want to come up here and you want that chain tight. You want it down that drowning hole. You don't want them alive. It it happens, you know. We're trappers, and you can't avoid that all the time. That's all right. That was a good 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 catch on that rat. Nice big rat too. That trap. And the you know, like I said, you and I I I check these the very first. The very first day, I'll go and set in the morning, <clears throat> and then I'll go check in the afternoon because rats get kind of gun shy of seeing other rats in traps. Get this trap back in here, right there. That water rushes, plug that hole back up. All right, we'll just walk back here and check these other three quick. Got a little feeder hut here. And see, I see fur. That's a good sign. It's a good sign if I can get it through the hole anyway. Ha. There we go. There's another front foot catching that rat and was down the drowning hole. Actually I had well uh, maybe I had both front feet in there, I couldn't tell, but nonetheless, another muskrat for the pile. I'll reset this guy quick. You know resetting is the fast part. The original setting is what takes a while. Chopping all these darn holes into the huts and so on and so forth. Yep. Get this trap in there. If I can get it in there. How do I get in there? There we go. Get the jaw flipped over. There we go. Put my chain and stuff in the hole so if one gets in there, it can jump in the drowning hole. Grab my wet material. Plug that hole back up. A little more wet material. Chunk of snow is kind of sawed out. There we go. Pack it on there. Oh. Got this feeder off. So I, can, I got a rat in there. I can see it's alive. And uh, it, it's so big. Look at the beaver. We'll, uh, I'll pause it quick and just back and give, them, give you a, a shot of them. You want know, to talk about a gigantic rat? I got this rat in this stop loss. Right by the back foot. And it is huge. Good grief, look at the size of that muskrat. That is definitely be an extra, extra large rat. Biggest one I've caught today. We got a few more traps left to check, and then I'm gonna dump my tally out on ice and give you guys a quick shot of what it looks like. So got another rat out here. 
I can't tell what happened. I don't know if there's a rat in there, what the deal is. How the hut kind of dug out, a mink might have did this, I don't know. I'll tell you here shortly. Oh no, rat did that. Got him by the back foot, and it's number one. There we go, that's a big rat. I can get him out here for you guys. Whoa. There you go, he's alive. It's all right. I'll take care of him. I can give you a quick shot here before we head to the next trap. There's a really nice rat. Nice, beautiful. Look at how, look at how dry that guy is. Letting that back foot catch. But I'll reset this trap. We'll head to the next spot. Good size host here. Droning hole. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Here, that's a definitely a rat. Got him by the back foot down that droning hole. Definitely the smallest one I've caught today. But that's all right. You can't control what size rat you get. Muskrat to muskrat. Don't mind me if I keep repeating some of these things. Cause my dad, my dad drilled them into my head. So pretty much been doing that to everybody else. See the next trap. Got a rat in this trap here. Trying to wrestle him out. Got him by back foot. Not the stop loss to top it all off. Whoa. Alright. I'll uh <laughs> I'll dispatch him quick. Here we go. Here we go. There's my you can see my Duke stop loss I got here. Got this rat, it's a nice rat. Gosh, I don't know how many that is today for nine or 10 so far, but we still got a bunch of traps up to check. So I'll reset this trap and uh, take care of this rat. We'll see you there. So I'm guessing there, oh yeah, there's a rat in there. I'll pull him out here and give you another shot of him. tore my house apart but that's all right I'll reset this trap and give you guys one last shot of all the rats okay just got this rat out here little feeder hut uh, you can see actually walked up to it wondering if what was going on you can see that there's a rat right sitting right here oh my gosh he oh that happens he broke my trap wire somehow Big rat caught right by the back foot. And it's number one. Victor jump. My glove's stuck in that bugger. There you go. So fortunately, like this hut here did not freeze up. I don't like the one hut freeze up. But I'm going to open this water hole back up. There we go. Nice 
side is the inner open now. Well, I'm gonna reset this tray out. Look at that nice, look at how, look at how light color that red is too. Nice red. Reset this tray out. And we'll see if next set. Got a big red hunt here. It was, it was raining earlier, it turned to sleet. Now it's turning into this hard ice pellets that are pelting us in the face out here. That's not very fun. There we go. Nice little rat there. Especially he was grown. So, I'm gonna make sure my okay, make sure that rat's head's still down there. One, two, three, that's the barrel, four, five rat huts right around the small area here. Got a trap set in every single one of them. And I can already, I can already tell you what happened. The back of this rat house is dug out. I can see that now. I'm kind of upset, but it happens. There's blood on the snow going back out in the rushes. I'm gonna dig this rat trap out and I'm gonna have a leg or something in here so the mink chewed into it last night and got my rat. There you go, look at that. All I got left is a chunk of the of the front foot. Enemy when trapping red huts is a mink. They'll dig into house after house, killing your rats, eating them, whatever they want to do. That's pretty much what they like to do. Just show up and kill your rat. A lot of times they won't even eat it. That's unfortunate, but what do you do? Grab some of this stuff here. Put your hole back up. Got one more. back up. Yeah, 
see him. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> there we go. He's right there. They're alive, it happens, like I said. I'll, I'll take care of him quick and give you a quick shot. Here's that rat. Number one victor, number one victor jump. And this little feeder hut here, this little feeder hut is about 50 yards up, uh, up 30 yards off the shore from the rest of the hut. That usually means one thing. Every muskrat was a 10 mile radius. Oh, this in the lake with you again. Hole. I'm trying to speak up because it's really windy out. My preferred trap was a number one stop loss of some sort. I have some dukes here I've had for a while that are still really good traps. I like to do is I, I throw my raft. I, I have a burlap, old burlap feed sack. You buy them at a pet store for probably a dollar a piece, keeps your rats dry. I like to have two different ones <clears throat> uh, one for wet rats, one for dry rats. Today I just have one because I left them outside last night and they got wet. more traps down here and we'll go hit them up. I usually don't show that, but that's that's how I dispatch rats in Minnesota. Um, a lot of people don't won't like it, but I don't really care because I'm going to show show it all. The heck of a nice rat there. Got this Victor. Actually, this is a Blake and Wa Blake and Lamb jump number one. Take this 
rat house out. Okay, there's the water hole. I try to let, I try to make sure and clear out that water hole. Any rat that comes in is gonna be coming in, you know, trying to clean, clear it, clear it out himself. Get that trap back in there. Stop that house back up. All the stuff here. There's that rat. I mean, you can see it took him. It took a whole, you know, a few seconds for for him to die or whatever. Um, that's how I dispatch rats in Minnesota. Just a little knock on the nose to the axe handle, quick. All right, on to the next set. Oh, all right. Little, another little feeder hut here. Down in there, see what's going on. Uh, uh, huh. That's unfortunate. Mm. Got a sprung trap. One of these little Victor jumps. Usually you don't usually you don't get very many just sprung traps. Like I said, either have you have something in it. I haven't had any like feet today. Sometimes you'll come and you'll dig your trap out and you'll have a foot in the trap or something. Just to find the rat has gotten away. But there we go. I'm gonna reset this guy quick right on this pad. back down this wet stuff here and plug that hole back up and the tank can so it doesn't freeze up at night. Alright. It's starting to get ugly out here. You'll see by the I'll start from the very beginning of my video to where we're at today. It's been a couple hours though. But the wind's picking up. Everything's freezing. Pull that plug out of there. Here's my, here's my trap. I got a number one double coil spring. Got a front front foot catch on this rat. It's a, it's a big, look at the size of that rat. It's more like a beaver. Oh, so we ran our rat traps today and uh, picked up 16 rats. Not too bad. Uh, I believe we had 20, 26 sets out, I think. So, 16 rats out of 26 sets. We had a couple sprung traps. We had a muskrat that got eight. Uh, we also had a foot in a trap, sprung trap or two, or whatever. So, but we did, you know, we did just over 50%, and that's what you want. You know, you want to get to the max, but if you're doing 50%, you're doing pretty good. See, I got two really big rats here. So it was a definitely, definitely a really good day on the line. Hopefully you guys can hear all the footage I made. It's really windy out. You can see, you can see the ice now is all covered with snow. When we started this morning, there was none of that going on. So it was a good day here in Minnesota. I can't complain at all. But me and my brother are gonna go and check some beaver traps now. So thanks for watching my video today.